Hi there, students! So basically, nandito ka, click mo tong video na to because you want to learn something about parallelism. So without further ado, let's get started. Pero my question is, ano nga ba ang parallelism? Commonly, naririnig natin yung salitang parallel, tama? Sa mathematics, naririnig natin to. Pero in terms of grammar, in terms of English, ano kaya ang ibig sabihin nito? So, we have different definitions, sir, pero wag natin masyadong dibdibin to. Kasi uh, in this lesson, I will teach you the basic kung ano nga ba yung... Uh, technique para maintindihan natin tong idea ng parallelism. So, unang-unang definition ng parallelism, ito daw in English grammar, is the two or more elements of a sentence or a series of sentences having the same grammatical structure. So, ito yung pinakang dapat i-point out natin. Same grammatical structure. Take note of that. Number two, this means using the same pattern of words to show that two or more words or ideas are of equal importance. Pangalawa, same pattern of words. Kung mapapansin natin, same grammatical structure, same pattern of words. Tama? Palaging andun yung word na same. In, in Filipino, in Tagalog, and same, pareho. Kapareho, parehas. Diba? Next. Lastly, words and phrases within a sentence should not only match in structure. Hindi lang kailangan daw pareho sila ng grammatical structure. Hindi lamang yung pattern ng words. Pero, also intense. Ano yung intense na? Hindi yung tense na pag kinakabahan ka. Yan yung, it refers to verb tenses. Present, yan sila. Past tense, future tense, yan sila. Kailangan pareho. In parallelism daw, pareho daw dapat sila ng grammatical structure. Pareho daw sila ng pattern ng words. Of course, yung idea. And, and at the same time, yung tenses nila. Kung present tense yung ginamit, dapat yung sentence. Lahat ng idea doon, naka-present tense din, okay? So, writers use parallel structure. Bakit daw? We use parallelism in order to add clarity to our writing. I will show you a basic representation of how parallelism works para mas madali, okay? So, itong mga picture na to, based from these pictures, kung sabi din sa idea natin, yung, yung word na same, pareho, kapareho, same grammatical structure, same pattern, ano pa, same tenses, kunin natin yung idea ng same. Doon muna tayo sa same pareho. Kasi that is the very basic fundamental of the basic idea of parallelism. Pare-pareho sila. Pareho dapat. Pero ano nga ba dapat yung pareho? Pero before that, this one, basic representation. Sa tingin ninyo, alin dyan yung magkakapareho? Pero para mas madaling tanong, alin dyan yung iba? Of course, tingnan natin, of course, the dog. The dog is lahat sila tao, iba. All of the three remaining pictures refer to humans. Pero itong isa, dog, which is an animal. So, siya yung naiiba. Parang ganun, para lalizem. Kailangan pare-pareho lang yung matitira. Next idea, how about this four pictures? Which one ang naiiba? Kung ang sagot niya ito, you're correct. Kitang-kita naman, di ba? Lahan sila, animals. Pero itong isa, human, a baby. <laughs> di ba? How about this one? Medyo confusing. I-analyze natin. What do you think? Ano yung iiba dyan? Based on the concept. Kasi kailangan yung parallelism. Marunong ko mag-analyze. Alam mo yung, uh, you know what is the basic thing being referred, being inferred within the totality of the sentence. Alin? Alin dyan? Kung ang sagot nyo ay ito, you are correct. Bakit? Kung mapansin mo, lahat sila cute, di ba? I mean, lahat sila mga Baby. O, diba? Baby yung baby cut. Diba? Puppy. And a baby human. Tapos yung isa, adult na. Adult na siya. Diba? Huwag kayo malilito. Ang pinakang idea lang dyan na kailangan yung concept, ibabagay mo yan on the totality of what is being referred inside the sentence. Kailangan majority. Magiging magkakapareho sila. Magkakatugma sila. Okay? In parallelism, again, same idea dapat. Same structure with equal importance. And, ito kasi yung parallelism. Ang parallelism kasi, uh, commonly, we are studying parallelism after our teachers 
na-discuss na nila yung iba't ibang rules sa grammar. Kasi once na pinag-aral natin ng parallelism, you are assumed to have the understanding of the basic English or the basic grammar rules. Dapat alam na natin yung lahat. For instance lang, hindi uh, basic lang yung knowledge mo about grammar rules. Ano ba yung kailangan mo tandaan lamang? Ano ba yung dapat yung meron ka? In order to easily learn parallelism. Okay? Of course, unang-una kailangan magaling ka mag-analyze. Makikita mo naman sa itsura iyan ng sentence. Makikita mo naman yung uh, the overall structure, how the sentence being formed. Makikita mo yung, yung thought kaya iisa. Dapat pare-pareho yung idea. Kailangan mo lang dito yung salitang common sense. Bakit kailangan mo lang ng common sense dito? Uh, bukod sa kailangan mag-analyze, minsan hindi na nga. Eh, kailangan, makikita mo na lang siyang kusa. <laughs> kailangan mo lang dito ay yung common sense mo at marunong ko mag-analyze. Kung hindi mo alam yung mga basic rules in grammar, so kailangan mo lang to, yung dalawa na to, mabubuhay ka na. <laughs> okay, for instance, so makikita nyo to, he loves singing, dancing, and to eat. Tingin ninyo, ano yung, di ba may something kapag binasa mo? He loves singing, dancing, and to eat. Para ka lang kumakanta dito eh. Para ka lang may nagda-rhyming, rhyming, di ba? May mga rhyme. In parallelism, ang tinitingnan talaga dito, di ba pare-pareho, sila lang idea. Um, same tense as a verb. Kung makapansin natin dito, he loves what? Singing, dancing, and to eat. Although, semantically, yung meaning naman yan, naiintindihan natin, gusto niya kuman- kumanta, sumayaw, kumain, pero the structure, may iba. Bakit? Kasi yung he loves what? Singing, kung makapansin natin, it ends in ing, dancing, ing, then to eat. Di ba? Dapat ano siya? Common sense, gamitin natin ng pag-analyze. Then pro, may I- puro ing ginamit. Dapat, ganun din yung gagamitin natin na word. May mga ing. So, I'm not saying na hindi mo kailangan pag-aralan kung ano bang ka-verb to, kung ano mga tenses niya sila. What I mean is, um, this is just the basic. In order to understand the basic uh, design of parallelism, paano ba nag-work ang parallelism? Or singing, dancing, dagdaga mo lang yung, anong tatanggalin natin? Wala namang salitang, lalagyan mo ng ing yung to, wala namang salitang to wing, di ba? So, basically, we, we need to remove the to because to in grammar rule, that is the in- infinitive rule. Two plus the basic form. So, kung natin understanding talaga ng mga infinitive, infinitive na yan, so, i-disregard na natin. Then, just get the verb, the word it, then, plus ing, para maging structured siya, para magkakapareho, di ba? Ang idea natin, same. So, singing, dancing, and eating. Okay? So, parallel na siya, di ba? Magkakamukha na siya. Basically, you already understand. Unang sentence pala, nakikita mo na dapat yung, yung idea ng parallelism, pare-pareho. Dapat. So, every morning, we make our bed, eat breakfast, and feed the dog. What do you think? Tama mali? Okay, that is correct. Why? Bakit siya naging tama? Kasi kung mapansin mo, every morning, ano ginagawa daw niya? We make our bed, eat breakfast, and feed the dog. Why? Bakit siya naging tama? Look on the verb use. We make. It is in the basic form. Wala siyang dinagdag na S, wala siyang ING, hindi siya iba-iba. Therefore, dapat ganun din basic form lang din dapat yung mga verb. Diba? Kailangan marunong ka mag-analyze ano ba yung dapat magkakapareho or something like that. In this, so in this sentence, basically, pare-pares yung tenses ng mga verb natin. Make our bed. Eat, walang S. Wala ding ING. Diba? Magkakapareho sila. Eat breakfast and feed the dog. Ito, itong basic rules na to, din, sinama ko lang to para, you know, um, para makita natin yung ano nga ba yes definitely maraming rules dito sa parallelism but i think if i am to if i am to answer basic lang talaga ang rule ng parallelism we are assumed to have understanding in in overall in oral context of english magfo-full lang yung lahat ng idea na yun dun sa isang idea na kailangan pare-pareho same structure same idea unang rule Parallel structure should be used when elements are joined by coordinating conjunctions. So, di ba kung hindi natin alam yung coordinating conjunctions, eh, paano natin malalaman ang parallelism? Pero anyway, coordinating conjunctions, just remember the word fanboys. F stands for for, A stands for, and, and so on. Nor, but, or, yet, so. Basically, marami pang ibang coordinating conjunctions, pero these are the basic ones. So, this one. As you can see, I have provided here incorrect term, incorrect sentence, and the correct one. If we are to read the first sentence, I am, allar- I am allergic to the dog's hair and how it smells. So basically, kapag doon conjoined by coordinating conjunction ng sentence, kailangan parallel sila. In this sentence, in this case, gumamit tayo ng conjunction na and. 
bakit naging incorrect siya pero kung babasahin naman semantically we can understand the meaning right kasi allergic to siya sa dog's hair and sa amoy ng aso pero talking about grammar since maarte ang grammar ano? grammar grammar is grammar nothing will change about that paano in parallelism kailangan magkamukha daw sila o ano yung ginamit the dog's hair ano yung dagdag may word na how di ba ang how this is a uh, relative pronoun na siya So anyway, kahit kung hindi mo naman alam yun, di ba, manilito talaga tayo. Sabi ko, dapat alam mo lang common sense, analysis, mag-analyze ka lang, di na mulang kung ano kaya yung something, yung iba, di ba, mag-judge ka lang. Dog's hair and, pwede namang, di sa correct sentence, ano yung tinanggal, yung how. How, pinalitan siya ng yung smell. Kasi allergy daw siya sa buhok ng aso and end sa amoy ng aso. Dog's hair and its smell. Basically, pare mo siya ma- maintindihan. Pero, the structure. Then, this one, another sentence. Oh, not parallel and parallel. The not parallel sentence, Anna likes hiking, then the rodeo, and to take afternoon nuts, afternoon nuts. Kita-kita naman dito yung na mali agad, diba? ING, bilang may infinity na to take na, biglang the rodeo. Kung, di pa kompleta yung idea. Acceptable one, one, Anna likes hiking, attending the rodeo, and taking afternoon nuts. Mapansin natin may mga ING sa huli dapat. Therefore, lahat sila pare-pareho. Diba? Hiking, attending the rodeo, and taking afternoon nuts. O pwede rin ito. Second choice, second option natin. Ellen likes to hike, attend the rodeo, and take afternoon nuts. Kung makikita mo lahat sila basic form of verb. Hike, attend, take. Okay, isa naman ING. Pero bakit, sila, bakit talawa? Actually, pwede kang magawa ng napakaraming sentence na regarding dyan sa maling sentence na yan, aayusin mo siya. Basta ang point lang ng parallelism, dapat pare-pareho yung ayos, yung construction, the tenses, the design, or overall design, dapat iisa. Okay? Same. Number two rule, we have parallel structure should be used when writing elements in the form of a list or series. Di ba? Ito yung list or series. Kailangan. Ano ba? And, and then, kamumagitan ng comma, etc. Okay? Ito yung incorrect. Paano ito naging incorrect? The class valued respect, honesty, and being on time in a teacher. Tumingi tayo sa may itsura, the physical appearance mismo nung sentence. Respect, honesty, being on time, parang iba. If there, baka mayroon namang being on time, pwede namang gumamit tayo ng isang word na ang tinutukoy niya ay being on time. Maghanap tayo. Na kailangan align pa rin siya dito sa idea ng respect, honesty. Ano ba itong dalawa na to? ginamit itong mga word na to as noun. Respect, honesty, dapat noun din yung susunod. Yung kailangan, yung pamalit natin sa being on time na yan. In the correct one, we use the word promptness. Pin- pinalitan natin being on time. Another one, ito, ito yung wrong, not parallel sentence. Reading books, to play the piano, and going to the theater are my favorite activities. May iba ba na siya? Reading, may NG. Infinitive, too. Diba? Isa naman, ING, going. So basically, ano yung naiiba dyan? Yung, na, yung gumamit ng infinitive, yung, wor- yung word na to. And the correct one, reading books, playing the piano, and going to the theater are my favorite activities. Diba? In grammar, tinatawag natin itong mga ING na to na gerand. <laughs> kung hindi nga natin alam kung ano yung gerand, you know how to analyze the overall structure, yung design, yung itsura niya, ano ba yung, ano ba yung naiiba? Kailangan marunong tayo mag-judge. Aron tayo mag-analyze. And of course, gamitin natin ng common sense. Gumamit sila ng ING. Diba? Reading, playing, and going. Number three. Para- parallel structure should be used when comparing or contrasting elements. Kapag tayo nagko-compare, ano ba yung mga ginagamit na pag-comparison? More than. Better than. Yan sila. Or better. Okay? James. Incorrect. Ito yung mali. James enjoys reading more than to write. <laughs> diba? Okay naman siya. <laughs> Pero why? Bakit siya naging mali? Kasi in parallelism, dapat iisa yung structure. Yung tense ng verb. So, reading, dapat magiging palta natin ng ING. Next, we have to. To sing is better than dancing. Nagkabalita naman sila. To sing is better than dancing. Tama naman siya. It sounds correct. Yes, yeah, semantically speaking, pwede na siya naintindihan na siya pero syntactically yung ating structure ng sentence grammatically wrong 
ba? To sing is better than to dance or singing is better than dancing. Kung gusto niyo pang maintindihan lalo ang parallelism, you can just browse the internet at magbibigay yung napakadaming results. Katulad nito, faulty. Ito yung faulty sentence. Mali. My uncle likes to eat in expensive restaurants and visiting. Kung papansin nyo, iba na naman sila magkaiba. Okay? And gumamit dito ng conjunction na end, dapat parallel din daw sila. Kung visiting yung isa, dapat ing din nag-end yung isa. Kung to eat yung ginamit yung isa, dapat may rin ding to, infinitive din ginamit ng isa. My uncle likes to eat in expensive, in expensive restaurants and to visit, di ba? Or eating and visiting, pwede. Another one, we have my friends never judge me by my words or what I did. Bakit ang nagmali? Kasi gumamit na naman siya ng what doon which is magkaiba na naman sila ng, um, ng structure, ng form, nang gumamit na naman siya dito ng relative pronoun. Collective survival, mutual aid, and being responsible. Diba? Ito yung full, faulty natin. It, the correct one is the tribes emphasize collective survival, mutual aid, and responsibility for one another. Emphasized what? Collective survival, mutual aid, which are, these terms are, a noun, are nouns. Okay, nouns sila. Pero yung being responsible, adjective siya. Dapat maroon tayong mag-analyze ng ganun. Pero kung hindi nga tayo, if we don't have that basic kind of understanding, dapat maroon ko na lang tumingin. Yung ayos, yung form, how how the sentence being formed. Then, then natin kung may mga naintindihan talaga tayo. Question number one. Justin was excited about inviting friends over, eating a good meal, and natin, just analyze was excited about inviting friends over, eating a good meal, and ano ba pansin natin lahat sila ends in ing inviting friends over, eating a good meal, and what do you think? is it letter A? a game of cards and the game of cards B. to play cards C. playing a game of cards if your answer is letter C of course you are correct inviting, eating, and playing then the rest of the three questions try to answer try to write your answer in the comment section so again once again parallelism it just it should be always with the same idea, same structure, with equal importance. Yung pinaka, with equal palagi, di ba? Equal importance, yung same tenses. Dati, dapat andun yung pinakang idea natin na same. Pare-pareho. Pareho. Okay? And of course, as always, we are assumed talaga. Assumed to have the understanding of gram- grammar rules. The verb tenses, lahat yung sila, but we already know about it. Pero since wala nga, what we always need kailangan natin baon palagi in our pocket is kailangan maroon tayong mag-analyze and of course the common sense okay i hope you learned something today thank you very much so don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more updates <laughs>